about the basic property of ammonia. So basic property of <clears throat> amines are Lewis bases. Why the Lewis bases? Because we know the definition of Lewis base. <coughs> Lewis, it is a, it is a molecule or an ion which can donate a pair of electrons. So in as a, a means of the derivative of ammonia. So ammonia nitrogen has a lone pair. So I mean nitrogen also has lone pair. So what should you write? Due to the presence of lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. Okay. So, see here. So, this is the one which can donate. So, this one it can donate hmm. because of that it is a Okay. So, now again, if you come, if you come to the Arrhenius concept, you know, in Arrhenius concept. S is that those substances which gives us hydronium ion or proton H plus ion and bases are the substances which can donate sorry by basis of the substance which liberate hydroxide ion in water. So let's see. Suppose I have taken here R N H and I have dissolved it in water. Lower amines are highly soluble in water. So, in this case, what is going to happen? It will undergo association. Then it will undergo dissociation. It's not, this is three. Undergo dissociation. So it will undergo association for the dissociation. Let, her, let me write directly this one. Hmm. First undergoes association, then only dissociation. So let me write it like this R NH3 plus N OH minus. So now you know from equilibrium chapter what is KB. I think that you have done all over yesterday. I think you have done. Hmm? So what we'll find here now? KB is equal to N R. So yesterday you have done it. So what did I mention? Higher the value of KB, more basic the amines will be. And we have another scale, we call it PKB. PKB. So PKB is my sorry. It is log KB. So is a reverse scale. In case of PKB, we say lower the value of PKB, more basic the amine is. All right, so this one our theory. So if the question comes, why ethylamine turns red litmus blue, then you have to say that aqueous solution of ethylamine produces hydroxyl ion, which turns red litmus blue. 
write down this question right why ethylamine why ethylamine turns red litmus blue right right the qua solution of ethylamine the qua solution of ethylamine contains Three hydroxyl ion. Three hydroxyl ion. A quartz solution of ethylamine contains three hydroxyl ion, which turns red litmus blue. Then after that, write this equation. Can you repeat it again? Aqueous solution of ethylamine. Contains free hydroxyl ions. Contains free hydroxyl ions. Which turn red litmus blue? Which turns red litmus blue? Okay. Okay, see, just in the carboxylic acid we have found. If the carboxyl group is only the one to responsible to for its acidity, then all carboxylic acids should have same same acidity. But we have found no. There are various factors which controls the acidity of carboxylic acids. Same is the case with the bases. Okay. So let us write factors controlling factor controlling basicity of okay. So I'll cross a little bit of your textbook, huh? Because in carboxylic acid, I followed textbook, but after teaching, I was not feeling happy. So we'll go. First is inductive effect. Second, Resonance effect. Third, hydration effect. Fourth, hybridization effect. Okay. And the last one you call it steric effect. Okay. 
Okay. So this in book they have discussed, but they have put all of them together and they've discussed. So it is little confusing. Okay. Okay. Please write. I'm coming in one minute. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let us go for inductive effect. Now so you know all these things. Inductive effect. See. Inductive effect is what? The shifting or drifting of electrons along sigma bond. Okay? We know there are two types of inductive effect is there. Huh? One is called the minus I effect. And was one is called plus I effect. Minus I effect means when you have taken an electronegative element, or if you have taken an uh, an electron withdrawing group, so it will pull electron, and it will decrease the density of electron on nitrogen. And if it is a plus I effect it will pump electron by which the density of electron on nitrogen will increase. So let us write. The presence of electron donating group or groups okay so we we'll, in the bracket we'll write plus i okay. on nitrogen atom increases the density of electron by <coughs> by electron repelling effect on nitrogen by electron repelling by which if you don't understand immediately ask me don't keep quiet by which their basicity increases more the the number of such groups more will be the Thank you. 
necessary. Okay? Did you write all this thing? Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, very good, very good. So, don't write now. First, you understand. I told you, no, this is not handwriting practice pass. See, look here. This is ammonia. This is the loan. Okay. <clears throat> this one you have taken CH3. See, this alkyl group is electron donating. What will happen? It will supply electron to the nitrogen. Nitrogen is already having lone pair. So in that case, what is going to happen? In that case, eh, the repulsion will take place now. So this electron immediately has to go out of the nitrogen. That is, it increases the density of electron and nitrogen. So what will say now? That basicity of methylamine is more than ammonia. Hmm. Basicity of methylamine is more than ammonia. Why? <coughs> Alkyl groups are electron donating in nature. So in packet, what you will write? Plus I effect. So that examiner should know that you did not buy her. You know everything. Alkyl groups are electron donating in nature. And their presence on nitrogen atom increases the density of electron and are more basic. Could you understand why methylamine is more basic than ammonia? Because methyl group is electron donated. So right, start from here, then after that you will write, then I'll give you some more example. Ta. Plus. Anywhere you don't understand, immediately ask me. And after that, if you feel that you could not understand my homework, my class is over, call me. Hmm. Don't send WhatsApp message. Hmm. Every time, don't try to save your money. Call me. If you feel that your balance is very less, I shall call you back. But you have to call me.
Done, sir. Uh, good, good. So what do you write here now? More with the number of such groups, more will be the basicity. So let us write now the example. See here. Basicity. Sir, you have taken now here. This is what? Tertiary. Tertiary means has three alkyl group. So here the density of electron will be the largest, followed by secondary. Then comes primary. So after primary, what should I write? Should I write nursery? Huh? Pneumonia. Ah, who is that one girl? What is your name? So, but. That is a condition. For everywhere condition is there. See, basicity of amines are not like the basicity of carboxylic acids. Huh? Basicity of amines cannot be every time theoretically predicted because so many factors are involved in it. So what should I write now here? Within bracket, we we'll write. In this series is there in either in vapor state or in non polar solvents. Non polar solvents is what? That is, it may be, it may be in. Benzene, carbon tetrachloride, where hydrogen bonding is not there. There. So now you can write here. This is the general one. So I'll write like your book because your book did not write their saving pages now. So I'll, let me also write like this. This is what is this? This is tri trimethylamine. Then this is. This is dimethylamine. Then this is methylamine and this is ammonia. Okay, generally for embos, you know, I told you, you no, know, it's not that I'm undermining embos, but embos board is very, very, very student friendly. Eh? So they often this question come why methylamine is more, why is methylamine more basic than ammonia? So then don't write, God knows. Hmm. So, I have already given this example first. So, there when you have written the statement alkyl, instead of alkyl, you write methyl. The methyl group, group is electron donating in nature and by which the density of electron on nitrogen becomes more and is more basic than ammonia. So what did you observe here? Larger is the number of alkyl groups or electron donating groups, more will be the basicity of nitrogen. The depth. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, in under inductive effect, we have discussed about the role of electron donating groups or plus I inductive effect. Now we will go for electron withdrawing group. So what we will write now here? Next paragraph. The presence of electron 
withdrawing. Okay, here you will write minus I get. Decreases the up up the presence of electron withdrawing group. Group on nitrogen atom or on alkyl mm -hmm. chain <coughs> of alkyl. I mean, I'll show you what is the meaning of this. On alkyl chain of alkyl amines. Decreases the density of electron on nitrogen atom. By which basicity decreases. Okay. Example say I have taken here Cl NH2. This above compounds are there. Okay, we call it chloramine. Chloramine. See here. Hmm. So instead of chlorine, you can have bromine also. Hmm. Chloramine. See here, what is going to happen? Chlorine is more electronegative. So it is going to pull the electron towards the towards it. Then in that case, the density of electron on nitrogen will decrease. So what I can now we can write. Chloramine is more basic than ammonia or less basic than ammonia? It is less basic than ammonia. Okay, you will find this type of compounds are also there. Cn NH2. We call it cyanamide. Cyanamide. Cyanide is a strong electron growing group. This is for element, this is for group. Oh, in that case, you'll find this will be less basic than ammonia. And whenever you give example of basicity, never forget to put the lone pair on nitrogen. Unnecessarily, you lose mark. Because this is basic because of lone pair. I table have a Christian and I need to be. Done. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The depth. Yes, sir. Suppose they have given you this. Okay. 
जी हाँ नाइट्रो ग्रुप इज शिविनो क्लोरीन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव देन क्लोरीन ओके बट हाउ डू नो प्लीज रिमेम्बर नाइट्रो ग्रुप इज ए स्ट्रॉगर इलेक्ट्रॉन ग्रुप देन डेट ऑफ क्लोरीन इन डेट केस व्हाट विल बी द ऑर्डर दिस otherwise this is difficult to compare group with elements ha huh? so please always remember electron neutron effect of nitro is more than that of the electronegative of effect of fluorine hmm only the name is change here you call it electronegativity here we call it electron withdrawing hmm so what you are going to arrange it will be c this will be the weakest base weakest because it is pulling the electron from the nitrogen and ni sorry mm -hmm. nh2 then comes what then comes this mm -hmm. then comes this Second, put here ammonia also. This is the mother. Okay. Then comes what? And which is the strongest? Strongest is this, because here, see, they are pulling electron. They are pulling electron. They are pulling electron, but in this case, no pull of electron, and this in this case is just opposite. It is supplying electron. Finish. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we go to the. Ah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 Who is the double? I think it is Daniel. Yes, sir. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we we'll go for the second factor, right? Resonance. Resonance effect. So first example that you are going to do is aniline. हम्म 
Don't write anything. Okay, so now you write what I say. Everyone know resonance effect? First, we'll write why aniline is less basic than ammonia. After that, I'll tell you. Why is anything? Or within bracket, you write aromatic amines. Less basic, yeah. Okay. So first we'll write now. Hmm. Anilin is Less basic than pneumonia due to resonance effect. We know we call it resonance due to resonance effect. Why? Because D lone pair on nitrogen atom. Get delocalized. Into aromatic ring. Ring by which the density of Electron on nitrogen atom decreases.
Hence, okay, put it now here. No such okay, one more I write. This is one factor. One. Okay, after I do this one, the second factor I will explain. First you write this question, then you write this structure, then you write this. Hmm. I think today full class I cannot explain the basicity. So many factors are there. And this is very, very important for your entrance exam. Done, sir. Okay. Then we write that. Second one. Okay. Now see. I had been telling you one thing that any reaction is possible. If this product is more stable than starting material, you know, daily life also, uh, the work which gives us comfort, no, that one we always do, which is uncomfortable, either you are reluctant to do or you don't do. So, chemical reactions are also like this. See, you have taken here any lead. Okay, because you are using as a base, 
you can call a substance one base only when it reacts with an acid other it will not call it a base huh. these are always in reference see here so this is aniline is called anilinium ion see here it does not have a lone pair so it is not going to show you all the fiber resonance structure that you have seen in case of aniline so this one This only show this only have two resonance structure. These are called the pulley structure. See now. So which is more stable? Aniline is more stable or this is more stable? Aniline is more stable. So because of that, aniline does not want to attain this unstable structure. So aniline is a very weak base. All right. Now it is our second. Right. Aniline iron is less stable than aniline as it involves only two Resonant structure. So we call them as Kekuli. You know, Kekuli is the one who has first given the structure of benzene. Kekuli structure. So now we write hands. Can you leave? Is a weaker base than ammonia. Done, sir. Okay. Hello. It's a piece wait. Mm 
Dobrze. Okay, now. See, what is resonance effect? We have already seen inductive effect. When this electron withdrawing effect or electron donating effect passes through double bond, that we call it resonance effect. So it is same as that of inductive effect, but the name is different. Okay? <clears throat> name is different. See here. So right now. Same resonance effect. The presence of electron donating group. Okay, here I'm going to write plus R effect. The name is changed. L or so, and para positions of aromatic ring increases the density of electron on nitrogen atom of aromatic amines. How, how do they increase? By Electron repelling effect. Okay, see, I'll show you. Don't get nervous. We just now I have shown you that lone pair goes inside for resonance. So when it goes inside, first you find no, you put a negative sign here, then you put a negative sign here, then you have put a negative sign here. So when this electron wants to come, methyl group starts supplying electron. <coughs> so what is going to happen? This is elect incoming electron and this electron they repel, and then the electron goes back to nitrogen. So this is called repulsion. Suppose, say, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. swimming pool. Mm. How many of you know swimming? Hello? Anyone of you know swimming? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Acha, good. Suppose you know swimming. So, nice swimming pool, okay? And you are here. Okay. So, you want to jump there. Suddenly, you find one, one crocodile is there. So, will you, will you go there? Will you jump? Huh? No, sir. Ah. So, this is the repulsion. So, same is the case when the electron starts coming inside. Methyl group starts supplying electron and again it pushes back. So by that way, what will happen? This this electron now reaches nitrogen. Why? Because nitrogen is more electronegative. Nitrogen has a tendency to keep electron. Carbon cannot keep electron because carbon is less electronegative. So that way, the basicity of this one will be more than that of aniline. Because the aniline, there is no obstruction. Straight it goes inside. In this case, the pulsion is there. Understood now? Hmm? All right. So now, <clears throat> so in this case, density of electron nitrogen is more. So this will be more basic. Now, let me write this here like this. 
I have so many things to discuss with you. Huh? So please don't feel that I'm putting pressure on you. Now you're growing up. See dear, this position also pump period term, but is it not a little far away from this? So because of that, you'll find two methyl aniline is more basic than four methyl aniline. Now, see. Now see here, I put here now three methyl. Resonance structure that you have copied in the uh, copy just now, you see, do you, in any case, did you have a negative charge here? Huh? No, sir. Ah, so in that case, repulsion is less. It is not directly repelling, but indirect repulsion is there. Indirect repulsion is there. Say, <coughs> In your neighbor's house, one dog is the first dog is there. You are a little scared. Why? Because that is not in your house. If it's in your house, then you would be more scared. If in neighbor's house, you are scared because suppose it comes to your house. So indirect repulsion is there. So you will find. So in that case, what you will find here now that this is the order of basicity. It will be most basic, followed by this. Then this, then this. Write down. This is called plus R resonance effect. So presence of electron donating groups on the aromatic ring increases the basicity of aromatic rings. The light very well again. Hurry up, hurry up. Done, sir. So done. So now what we'll find? If you have more number of electron donating group, more will be the basicity. Say you have taken this one. You have taken now here. Two, four, six trimethyl aniline. It has three electron donating group. So in that case, more repulsion, more is the electron density here. Drop. Is this two four dimethyl amine? See, after a few days, you'll be expert in predicting basicity. I will make you expert. 
Just now I told you this is more than this. Electron would run group means minus R. Okay. So now we'll write the presence of electronegative. elements or electron withdrawing groups decreases the density of electron on nitrogen oh ho 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 wait 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 groups sorry are mata kharab ho gaya that auto and para position of aromatic rings decreases the density of electron on nitrogen atom of aromatic amines but how by electron attracting effect so they are basicity this all right <clears throat> more be such group the basicity will further so i'll give you three examples one with the similar one with the dissimilar and one with more okay okay say suppose i have taken here Thank you. 
I'll start with Enili. Then See, this is least five because it is closest to this one. So in that case, effect is maximum, little far. We know at meta position, it does not disturb directly. So, aniline is more basic than metanitroaniline, then comes paranitroaniline, and then comes this. Mm. So, now let me go for this one. Second, this is first example. Huh? Second example, I am taking different types of substitution now. So, now you know. Yeah, I have to get in here. Aniline, no electron withdrawing group. So in that case, it will be the strongest base. Followed by chlorine. Followed by chlorine because chlorine is stronger than chlorine. Followed by nitro because we found nitro is stronger than that of chlorine. No, I will not give you the third example. Hmm. Means if, if the number is more, then basically it will be more. But uh, that I will discuss some just uh, specifically for entrance exam separately. Third example. Because I have to um, take, discuss some other factor. Every time, everything does not, cannot be explained by only one factor. So we have done inductive effect and we have done resonance effect. Now we'll go for solvation effect. See, we have found that in inductive effect or in resonance effect, we have found that primary tertiary amine is stronger than secondary and secondary amine is stronger than uh, stronger than the uh, primary amine so let me combine both of them and give you an example okay say i have taken here this is a mixed example i have taken here you know the name of this it's called NN dimethyl anyway. See, in this case, you are having resonance effect. In this case, you are having inductive effect. 
So two electron donating groups are constantly public electron. So even though the lone pair goes inside, density does not decrease much. Okay, so this is called. I'm writing now. I'm writing now the isomer, positional isomer. See here. Here, electron repulsion is there, but here the direct effect is there. Here. I'm writing position isomer. Huh? See, in this case, two methyl groups are here, but direct inductive effect is not there. Both of them are showing resonance. So it is. A combination of both plus I effect or inductive effect and resonance. Done, sir. Okay. I'll take 10 more minutes. I don't know whether it's going to disturb your school class or not. Achha. Aditi is there in the group. Hello, Aditi. Yes, sir. Uh, Maina, what time your class starts in school? Nine o'clock. Yes, Nine, sir. sir. Oh, so even us nine. Oh, what what class do you have now? So we have physics. Oh, no. then I'll stop now. Okay. <laughs>